Afrofuturism was the subject of the most talked about exhibits in London this year. It was called In the Black Fantastic, a dazzling celebration of black supernatural. Now, the show's curator, British Ghanaian writer and editor Echo Eshen, has created a beautiful book by the same name. He joins us from London. Echo Eshen, welcome to Black Renaissance. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for inviting me on. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Well, first off, congratulations on the show in London at the Hayward. Everyone was talking about this show. It's been, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been quite the summer. You know, I read somewhere that you wanted to be a superhero when you were a boy. I think you should have chosen Hercules because amassing the amount of art and music and film and just the visuals in this exhibit, in this book, now in this book, um, yeah. it, was a, it must have been a Herculean task. How did you, yeah, well, how did you go about that? Well, so, so, the, so the show has been on in, in London uh, over the summer, but the book, which is available across the US, uh, brings together, yes, about 300 images from music, from film, from art, from architecture. But really my take within The Black Fantastic is that, to be honest, it was an obsession for a while, gathering all the material together. But it was really because once you start to make connections from one thing to another, you realize that actually what we've, what we've collectively been involved in culturally, I think is mapping out a way of seeing and a way of being and a way of traveling through the world. So just in a very simple example, like in super popular terms, if you think of something like Beyonce's Lemonade, sure. when she's referencing African myth, she's referencing African possibility, she's referencing African fable. So even in the very broadest mainstream, we see links back to the ways that black creative figures are using speculative fiction, are using fantasy, are using the fantastic as a way to speak truth to us and to the world about the stories we carry within ourselves, about the connections and cultural bonds that we create across the Atlantic from America to Europe, to Africa, to the Caribbean. I really think that Afrofuturism is a form of black nationalism because we are creating these utopias, these environments and drawing from the past, the present, the future. Look at album covers, Bitches Brew, Sun Ra, all the way even now to uh, Janelle Monet, you know, with yeah. her droid thing. Yeah. You know, well, it's, I mean, uh, it's everywhere. And yet we kind of take it for granted as if that's just our aesthetic. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly the thing. It's everywhere. We take it for granted. And so I wanted to bring it into visibility and say that these are some of the ways that we express who we are. And that this isn't about, I don't know, trying to find a way to reality or something. This is about us saying, look, we have a right and a capacity and an ambition to dream and to make worlds anew, to make worlds in our own image. And the uh, exhilarating thing for me is when you start to realize that part of the language of black culture, of black identity, is to do with the fantastic, is to do with dreaming aloud, is to do with a making of new worlds. Like you say, it's a liberation project. It's about how we get to be free. We make those worlds on our own terms. And these become places that we can live within, that we can share, that we, that we can communicate through. These things become important for us, I think. I have my book. I have all my little um, post-its in it. I was going to go, you know, line by line. But I'll just jump to the last one. And it's an image. It says, there are Black people in the future. It was a billboard that went up. I think we're in Philly. And, um, yeah, there was, yeah, there was, yeah, there was a billboard that went up by uh, an artist called Alicia Wormsley. The first time she put this up, there were some protests, it turns out, because some people found this notion controversial in some way. But the billboard has been reproduced in different locations all around the world. We put one up in London, 
opposite the Hayward Gallery, where we uh, put on the show, it says something beautiful and poignant and poetic. There are Black people in the future. How could that be otherwise? Except that constantly there are efforts to deny us, to deny us our lives or our livelihood or our personhood. So this too, in its simplicity, is a radical statement. It's a statement ultimately of self-belief in who we are of conviction in who we can be, and where we will go into the world, and the fact that we can shape our futures. Well, bravo for the book, bravo for the show. I can't wait to see what comes next from you. Thank you so much for talking about In the Black Fantastic with us on Black Renaissance today. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Again, the book is In the Black Fantastic, edited by Echo Eschen. It's in bookstores and on Amazon. Get it, I'm giving this book to everyone I know for Christmas.